luck opening trade? You're in the market for Osser and Farmer, right? I'm happy to agree with them. You told me they were the best delving crew in the claim. Y you told me we'd be drowning in artifacts. Well, I found this, didn't I? It's a tray. By the sun, man! Not even the most accomplished crafters of Meridian could pull off such symmetry. I wonder what the old ones served on it. Appetizers? Seafood? It's a tray! Who are you? Rushavid? You wouldn't recognize the sun if it hit you in the face. This is the savior of Meridian, the one who sees the unseen. You've come for them, haven't you? Uh, them? The relics! The lake is full of them. Something big happened here in ancient times. You mind if I take a look? Whew. That's a lot of data. Um, should we be sending for a healer? Whatever this is, it all points to something called a mobile cover system. Oh! You mean a cover for the tray? No. More like something that could come handy in a fight. Where did you find this? Uh, the dig site, uh... Which is now crawling with machines. And unless they magically disappear, we are leaving! Don't you want to find out what actually happened here? Maybe we still can. Where's this dig site? Seems like the best place to start if I'm gonna follow up on this mobile cover system. Maybe I can figure out what actually happened here. The site is just behind us, up the lake to the west. I knew it was no coincidence our paths crossed, Savior. Imagine what stories you'll bring us once you search the lake with your second sight. Hopefully just the truth. The sun has truly shined upon us this day. the machines Clear. Doesn't look like there's much here. But those ruins fall off into the water. Won't be able to dive too deep, though. I should take a look at the ruins under the water. See if I can find any clues. security console right away okay just don't get killed before i get erica erica 
Sounds like I need three of these keys to get to the mobile cover system. There's coordinates for another console on file. I should check it out. I don't have the override data for that machine yet. I better look more closely. Which means there should be another one somewhere around here. Looks like some sort of old defensive outpost. Another console. Got it. It's raining hell over here, Sergeant! <laughs> Those shit, Corporal. The egg head over at Voltas needs our security key to get the mobile cover prototype out of here. Get to the console and get it out of here! We have a second enemy contact incoming! Another horse! Someone call it that goddamn airstrike! Another access key that never got to this prototype. There's coordinates for a third one nearby. Maybe I can find it. The coordinates I found lead here. There's gotta be another one of those consoles around. console. Last one. Hello, Evax outside, Doc. 
Done, thank God. The mobile cover prototype is locked in the vault. I need all three keys to open it, including yours. Nope. VP rank means I've got a golden ticket to Elysium. If you want that key, come back and get it your... Uh-oh. Well, Dom is a weird charmer. Typical for Pharaoh, I guess. That's three access keys. And... another set of coordinates. Maybe where they were intended to go in the first place. Looks like a facility used to be here. This place got hit hard. The vault mentioned in the recordings should be in here somewhere. I just have to go to I can take you! to get to the vault. <laughs> this looks promising. I'm guessing this was Hernan. This must be the vault mentioned in the data I found. I should be able to access it. Priority keys detected. Access granted. I don't think anyone's gonna make it. I'm not sure which will get me first, the airstrike or the Horus. I spent my career on the mobile cover project. Really thought I could get it to someone who could use it. At least I have the prototype now. I might even be able to make something out of it if I use the data on that drive Gendos found. I want to know what happened here. You've returned. You found something, didn't you? Come now, don't just keep it to yourself. It's, um, difficult to explain. Please, I... I just want to understand as much as I can. Definitely not a tray cover. The old ones fought a massive battle here against machines. Some fled, but others stayed behind to try to salvage this, to help others carry on the fight. Did they survive? So, they failed. It made it into the hands of the most renowned warrior in the Sundom, did it not? And every item we recover will be used to ensure their memory lives on. I didn't see any machines at the dig site, so yes, I suppose that is true. I'll need that tray and your workbench. I'll have to tinker with this to turn it into something I can use. Of course, Savior. It's the least we can do. May the sun light your way, as you have illuminated ours. In the market for Let's take a look at this Wait till thing. the scholars hear about this! Oh, 
will go down in the history Feels books. Right. Time to test it out. What's going on here? You're the one who spoke before the chorus. Maybe you can help. This is not your concern, Outlander. Have we not tolerated enough of your intrusions? I think you can handle one more. What is it? My wife, Kalai. She was to join the course. She went up to the promontory to perform the rite of discovery, but she must have fallen. And now they are abandoning the search. We have done enough, Bree. The search party found nothing but her instrument broken beside the riverbed. And atop the promontory was only the dye she used for the ritual. We will not ask more of our people to risk their lives because of one woman's stubbornness. But the seed she carried deserved to be planted and remembered. I heard how you helped the land god, Ray. How you saw what no one else could. Please, will you look for her seed pouch? False hope is a creeping vine. If I'm out that way, I can take a look around. Thank you. The promontory is northeast of here. Look for the broken bridge at the bottom of the cliffs, right at the promontory's base. That's where the search party found her instrument. Okay. That all right with you? How you waste your time is not my concern. Searching for what the land has already reclaimed is fruitless. Looks like Kawhi and the search party took down a few machines when they were here. There is the broken bridge. I'm gonna have to take care of these machines before we can around. Now to look for Kali's seed pouch. I better start at the bridge. A lot of footprints. Must be for the search party. He said this is where they found his wife's instrument. The search party concluded Kalai's body was probably carried away by the river. But from up there, that old tree would have caught her. I don't think she actually fell. I should check up at the promontory. Maybe the search party missed something. It looks like the search party took the trail under the stone arch. That must be the way up to the promontory. <sighs> no. 
debris. There must have been another path up. Guess Kalal and the search party climbed the cliff instead. This pigment will work well in armor. An old Utaru trailhead. Looks like this is where the Rite of Discovery started. Debris on the trail. It looks like pieces of bridge. Trail's broken away. Kalai must have climbed her way up, too. If Kalai made it to the top, she must have been a good climber. It doesn't add up that she fell. This must be the promontory. Looks like Kalai was doing something at that stone table. I should take a look. Flowers, ground into a dye. Kalai must have done this as part of her ritual. I should look around. My focus will help me figure out what happened to her. Looks like the edge broke off recently. I still don't think she could have fallen into the river from here. I should keep looking around. The search party was up here, all right. There's too many tracks to pick out Kalai's. These flowers have a trace of something on their petals. The dye Kalai was wearing. Looks like it left a trail. Too faint for the search party to have noticed, but my focus can pick it up. There's the dye trail. Looks like it leads away from the cliff edge. Dye trail ends here, with a lot of broken branches. I should take a closer look. Branches were snapped off recently from some kind of struggle. And over here, drag marks. Looks like they lead through this thicket. I can follow them with my focus. Two bodies? One must be Kalai, but who's the other woman? Kalai. Those marks on her neck. She was strangled. At least I can return her seed pouch to Bree. So the killer must have tried to push Kalai off the cliff. That's why the search party found her instrument by the river. But Kalai fought back. So the killer strangled her. And then dragged her here. what I needed. 
Okay. I better grab the killer's seed pouch. Might help identify her. Maybe Fane and Cal back in Plainsong will know who the seed pouch belongs to. It's time to move on. No, not until I hear from Aloy. That's Glyce. You found it. Bree. Kali didn't fall. She was murdered. What? I went up to the promontory. I found Kalai and the body of the woman who killed her. That's impossible. The search party already checked up there. There was nothing. The bodies were in a separate clearing. Away from where the search party checked. A stalker had mauled her while she was trying to hide Kalai's body. Who was she? I was hoping you would know. I brought back her seed pouch. It belongs to Lina. Kel's apprentice. I don't understand. Why would she do this? Maybe we should ask Kel. But she... You, there. Where is Kel? I saw her leave out the East Gate about an hour ago. She's going home. Summer wind. She's running away? Well, she needs to stand trial. I can catch her. Where is this place? Look for a ruined settlement at our southern border. It's her childhood home. We will get the guards and try to catch up with you. Children, you can't afford to... There's Kel. What? So now everyone knows. It was only a matter of time once you went up that cliff. You stood right next to the man whose wife you had murdered and told him to move on. I never wanted any of this to happen. Then why? Calais sowed the seeds of discord. She wanted the Utaru to leave Plainsong, abandon our home. If that thought caught on, it would have been more destructive than any sickness or machine. So you had her killed? There is a natural order to all things. Growth, decay, death. It's the way of the world. A tree cannot pick up its roots, so I stopped what was threatening us. And I'm sorry it came to it, but it's over now. I'm gonna make sure you pay for all the suffering you've caused. Too late. Two people dead. At least you're paying with your life. My choice. All of this was your choice. No! She needed to stand trial! Kalai deserves justice. She's dead, Bree. That's justice enough. It isn't much, but... I want you to have this, as thanks. I won't have to spend the rest of my days wondering what happened to Kalai. Blighted are the leaves. Three of our people, dead. And for what? I admit it. I never wanted you among us. But now, it seems I must thank you for revealing the rot that had taken hold here. I'm sorry it had to happen this way. At least with the rot removed, new growth can thrive. We'll have 
or nothing by months. And what's going on here? Sounds like there's a problem. We're speaking about something important, Outlander. Yul, please. Later. A reminder of why I often prefer plants to people. They're so much less demanding. I apologize for Yol. My people used to be friendlier, but hunger robs many of their kindness. Seems like there's a lot around here in short supply. Is there anything that can help? As Yol said, we need food. So much so that we've sent hunting parties to the old growth, a forest in the north. We never used to hunt animals for food. We never had to. But as our crops fail, we've run out of options. But something else went wrong. A machine slaughtered the last hunting party we sent out. A Klostrider. But to hear the lone survivor tell it, more deadly than any we've seen before. Until it's gone, I can't risk more hunters, but without that meat, our people grow more lean every day. Tell me everything you know about the machine that attacked your hunters. It fell upon them near the edge of the old growth. One of them, Ven, survived and made it back to Plainsong. If you wish to question him, he's recovering with our healers. The other four hunters weren't so fortunate. It must be a powerful beast. Can you destroy it? I've handled tough ones before. Good. The old growth must be made safe for hunting. One more thing. Every Utaru wears a small patch of seeds, given at birth, planted at death. It is how we remember our loved ones and celebrate their place in the cycle. It would mean a great deal to the hunters' families if you could recover them. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Be careful in the forest. Before I head for the old growth, I might want to talk to the survivor. See what he can tell me about the Clostrider. Mine will satisfy you. So you must go out in the world. There's the survivor from the hunting party. Then? I'm here about the machine. In the old growth. You're going after that horror. I'm going to try. Do you mind answering a couple of questions about it? I'll... I'll tell you what I can. I need to get going. You don't want to fight that thing. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Well, if you do, I hope you cut it to shreds. It killed Lao. My oldest friend. I got a tower on the clearing. Must be all the papers. Gotta take out these machines before I can grab the sea pouch. Just getting started! Collapse the hunter's sea patch. Got the pouch. But where are the other hunters? And the claw strider that attacks them. I better check for tracks with my focus. There. Claw strider tracks. I might have chased the other hunters deeper into the forest. Another hunter. Clostrider must have caught up to them. Okay, got the seed pouch. Better pick up the Clostrider's tracks and keep going. The third hunter. I should collect their seed pouch.
He died where the Clostrider caught him. At least I can return his seat pouch. I need to put a stop to that machine. I better scan for tracks. Okay, three hunters. There should be one more. Clostrider probably chased after him. There's some kind of residue here. It looks like the Clostrider continued up the cliff. Hunter gave it quite the chase. Covered in some kind of residue. It looks like the machine's claw got stuck here. Slowed it down. While the hunter kept running. Close tires tracks end here. And no sign of the last hunter either. I don't know why those machines are watching that crack in the cliff. I'd better clear them out first. We're interested in that crevice in the cliff. I should check it out. I have a feeling that last hunter was pretty resourceful. They're gone? I wasn't expecting a rescue. Thank you, Outlander. I'm after the Claw Strider. Where did it go? You're hunting it? It's okay. I fought bigger. Who are you? Just stay here while I try to pick up its trail. I'll let you know when it's... I can handle it from here. Slow it down for you. Stay back and don't fire until I do. Watch for its claws. Just the center killers. Lau, right? Ben thinks he left you for dead. He made it back. I was worried about him. He said you saved him by getting the Clostrider to chase you. <laughs> and he saved me by sending you after me, so we're even. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he figures out I'm alive. Go on back then. And thanks for the assist. Slowing that machine down helped. And here, take this. I can craft another one if I need it, but... Well, I hope I won't after this, not for a while. One more hunter gets to go home. 
Now I just have to return the seed pouches to Shale. Where's Shale? Uh, I should say? give her the seed pouches I recovered. Aloy, Lau has come back to us thanks to you. Is it safe to send out another hunting party? It's never going to be completely safe out there. But the Claw Strider is dead. Here. The seed pouches. I'll see that these are returned to their families for planting and remembrance. I'm sure Lau and Van would like to thank you in person. You can find them at the Grove. It's been an honor, Aloy. May the land be kind to you. It's me. It probably meant... Aloy, I hear you're going further west past the Tanakh clan lands. Do you know anything about the area? Only hearsay. The Utaru tell stories of an island that lies beyond the western coast. They call it the Isle of Spires. It is said the Old Ones built towers there that touched the sky, so they could live far away from the earth that bore them. As if they didn't want to be reminded that they'd one day return to it. Sounds like something Ted Farrow would do. Any progress with your plan for the Land Gods? Is the reboot code ready? It is. But there is difficult work ahead. Gaia warned me that because the Land Gods are linked together in a network, the code must be delivered to all of them. Most are in Plainsong, but in recent years, three of them wandered off. So, T, and Do. We have to find them? No. We know where they are. But they're hard to reach. So, wandered into a lake and sank. Do ventured into a dangerous canyon, and T broke down amidst a herd of machines. Okay. Tell you what. You go to Plainsong, handle all the land gods there. I'll take care of So, T, and Do. I'll need their locations, plus the reboot code. I'm sending the data to you now. My people made shrines near where each land god faltered. When you see them, you'll know you're close. And once again, thanks for your help. We're not gonna let your people starve, so... I promise. Well, I should get going. Hopefully I can bring back what we need to capture Hephaestus. After that, I'm gonna need everyone's help. We'll be ready. Aloy, there are more supplies in the chest. Help yourself. Two dead Utaru in the Land God Shrine. So said this one broke down amidst a herd of machines. I better be careful. I guess they were leaving offerings to the Land God. That looks like something... fried them. Whatever did it might still be around. There's the Land God. But I'll have to deal with those machines before I install the reboot code. Frost will make it brittle. All the machines. Time to install this code on that land god. Ah. 
Uh oh. Stalwart. Must have been what killed those who talked. This code installed on that land god. Let's try this again. Nice and easy. One down, two to go. Zo, you there? I'm here, Aloy. I found T and installed the reboot code. Fitting then that I feel thankful. Tea's festival came in winter, when all the grain from the harvest was stored away. It was a season of gratitude, and all the children would receive gifts. <laughs> the best was my first bow, made of you, strung by my father. Well, he definitely taught you how to shoot well. That he did. There's one more thing. I found two of your people. Uh, Stormbird got them. But I took it down. Oh. I'll make sure someone retrieves their seed pouches, so they may return to the land. All right, then. I'll take the plane to with a code to the land gods there. That should do it. There. One of the land god shrines. So said this one sank in a nearby lake. The land god must be down there somewhere. Where's this one? I think the land god is underneath that rubble. So? Aloy, how goes it? Had to swim a bit, but I gave the reboot code to So. A girl? Ah, good. Alarm! We used to celebrate So in the fall, at the beginning of the harvest, with wine made from elder plants. When I was twelve, I got tipsy on it and kissed a boy in the sage garden. How'd that go? He was so surprised he nearly fell into the mulch. It would be good to see So again. Plowing the fields in the afternoon sun. How are things on your end? Getting there. A few land gods to visit still. Okay. I'll call you when I'm done with the last one. Thank you, Aloy. Must be the shortest of the land. Hmm. 
like this one's been here for a while. I won't be able to install the reboot code with these vines in the way. But where there's vines, there's a metal flower. I just have to find it. There, the flower. If I can deactivate it, the land god will be free from the vines. But I'll have to find a way up there. Keep this for a cook. <laughs> Looks like there's a path on the other side of this. To that land god. I just have to get rid of these vines first. It looks like I can climb up the side of the cliff. Might help me get to that metal flower. Now I just need to get rid of these vines. to get this code installed. This will help you get better. That's the last land god. So, can you hear me? I can hear you, Aloy. Just planted the reboot code on Doe. He was a bit tangled up, but he's better now. Good to hear. Doe always returned to the sacred cave at the end of winter, so his festival foretold the coming of spring. During those times, I remember clinging to my mother by the hearth, snuggling for warmth and listening to her sing of new beginnings. Which is exactly what you're going to give to your people. I hope so. When you can, meet me at Plainsong and we'll send out the reboot signal. I've delivered the code to all the land gods, save one. Only La is left. I'm here with her, just east of the main village. Okay, I'll get there as soon as I can. What is she doing to Law? Aloy, Should we stop it. her? All of the land gods have been updated. Now to send out the reboot signal. told me this would happen. To all of them. Do, T, So, and the rest. She called it a reboot sequence. But I didn't think it would be so beautiful. Soon the land gods will return to tilling the soil as they once did. Zo, the chorus wants a word. Of course they do. Do you want me to come? No need. I'll just tell them that our lands will soon bloom again. Who are they to argue? Find me later. Then I'll tell you how it went. Good luck. I don't care the data I have on my hand. What? 
Hey, Lloyd. I hear you've been making quite the impression on the clan lands. Saving the Desert Clan from itself? Forcing the Commander Takote out of hiding? Defending the Grove from Regala? I didn't do it alone. The humble words of a true warrior. Is something wrong? No. Yes. There's a song I want to play, one of my own making, but it's hopeless. I'm just never going to get the sound right. What makes you say that? Back in the clan lands, the Sky Clan built instruments that cast sound to sky and across the mountains. They use long leg throats to make them bellow with the sound of metal. It's how they communicate between villages. Combining that sound with the Utarus would create a melody unlike anyone's ever heard before. But I won't be hunting for any long legs anytime soon. For now, you should try the Metal Weaver again. They might have some new piece you can use. Right. This song means a lot to him, doesn't it? It does, which is why I'm getting him that machine part. It'll be a surprise. The Utaru say that's the best way to receive a gift. Is there a long leg around here? As it happens, one has been troubling some villages southwest of here. You be doing me and playing Song a favor by getting rid of it. Interested? Maybe. If I make my way down there, I'd like to help. I appreciate that. I'll head southwest and see if I can pick up a trail. Not a moment too soon, Huntress. I thought I heard a long legs call, so I hastened to follow, but I was caught unaware by these machines instead. There it is again. Let's go find it. like our long legs at the top of that cliff. Oh, looks like we're climbing. We'll make quick work of it. <laughs> this reminds me of my early days as a veteran. Always running off to hunt in the wilds. As far away from plain song as possible. What changed? I saw my first Utaru students become fighters worthy of any Tanakh clan. I felt useful, like I belong. And so plain song, I came home. I'm sure Corey will find his place too. I hope so. <laughs> Almost there. Sounds like that long leg isn't alone There's up there. our long leg. And the Utaru it fell. Might be best to silence it before it can call reinforcements. <laughs>
Now we salvage the part we came for. Care to show me our prize, Huntress? Many thanks, Aloy. Without you, I might have been in trouble. Why don't you take that piece to Corey for me? The villagers felled by these machines need to have their seeds buried properly first. Are you sure? Tell Corey I better be the first to hear that song of his when I return. Zo, are you there? I'm in plain song and it's amazing. It's just like you said, the fields are back in bloom. And we have you to thank for it. If you hadn't come along, the Utaru would still be starving, under siege by machines. What do they do about I'm just glad it worked out. Yes. First plane song. Next, the world. Kore. Aloy? I thought you had left plane song. Well, I thought about it. But then I'd have to carry this long leg throat all by myself. You found? Jax did. <laughs> that old man. Can still hear perfectly fine. So let's hear it. I'm going to need some help. Aloy, can you take this to the workbench, please? You won't have to do much, I promise. You'll see a wide cavity on the instrument. He should fit right in. See your handiwork. I think it's good to go. song of two peoples indeed. Thank you, Aloy. My debt to you seems to only grow. Hearing that was payment enough. That may be, but you should at least take this. You deserve it. May the wings of the ten hearten your step. May the winds carry you. Ask Ganesh. 